Today on our 2014 Volkswagen Passat, we're going to be taking a look at the Malone Runway 2 by platform rack for inch and a quarter and two inch hitches. And that's going to be part number MPG2149. As you can see, we do have a bike installed, so let's take a closer look and show off some of these features. As we see, we have two wheel trays for each bike we would have installed. These wheel trays are adjustable side to side on the bike rack. You simply just loosen and slide it to meet the specific length of bike you might have. These trays right here can accommodate wheel, uh, wheel sizes from 20 to 29 inches and, and wheel widths of up to three and a half, three and a half inches. Each tray is gonna have a hook and loop strap to secure your bike wheel into the tray. If we look up here, we're gonna see this nice padded frame hook that is securing top of our frame down into the wheel trays. Now, if we look at this other frame hook, we're gonna see it does have a lock core. You will get a set of keys with it. So if you wanna secure your bikes, you would simply lock that one down and then they cannot remove either of them. However, seeing that we have one bike installed and our hooks all the way up here, we're gonna see that you can raise the hook up and still get this bike off. So if you wanna secure only one bike down, you're gonna to wanna to loosen this, push it all the way down here so that it sits on top of the other hook, tighten it down so that no one can remove it. And then you can take your set of keys lock that into place so that now it's not on the threads and it's just a spinning wheel basically. Then you would simply just insert your key, unlock it, and that puts it back on the threads and we can loosen it like this and raise it back up. Now. Like a lot of platform style racks, this one does tilt away from the vehicle to, to provide you with rear hatch access. We're gonna to come to this pin and clip and remove it. Sometimes you might need to lift the uh, bike rack a bit just to get the pin out. Once we do that, you're gonna to wanna to pull away just a bit and then it tilts away like that. Oh, and then try not to get hit by the bike. Now we can access the trunk of our car, get whatever we might need, and we'll be on our way. How we're gonna put it back up, this time it's gonna, gonna make it a little easier on myself, like I should've done the first time. We're gonna just raise it back up by this arm right here and push it back into place. Then you would just replace your pin and clip. Now that we've gone over some of those features, we can go ahead and remove the bike. We're gonna start with these hook and loop straps. We're simply just gonna undo those. We'll just hang those on, whoop. We'll strap those to the frame of our bike rack so we don't lose them. Hmm. There we go. Couldn't fit my fingers through the spokes. We'll do the same thing over here. Just so you don't lose them. Now when we come to the frame hook, you do want to make sure you have a firm grip on your bike because once we take the frame hook off, it is going to be free to fall whichever way it pleases and it could potentially damage the back of your vehicle. I'm going to come down here to this hand knob and loosen that up. Once we do, we can just raise up the hook. We'll tighten it back just a bit so it stays up there. Now we can go ahead and remove the bike. And now that we have the bike removed, I would like to make a few measurements to give you an idea of the space this bike rack might take up. So if we go from the back of our vehicle to the outermost part of our bike rack, we're gonna be adding on about 29 inches onto the back of our vehicle. Thanks to this raised shank right here, 
our ground clearance is going to be a lot nicer. At about 18 and a half inches right there. And then from the most inner part right here to the bumper, it's going to be about 7 inches right there. So that's more than enough space not to interfere and make contact with your bumper. Now this platform rack can also tilt up towards your vehicle to conserve some space. First, we're going to lower these hooks a bit and tighten them up. Then we're going to come in close and fold down this arm, remove this pin and clip. Then it just folds down like so, and then you just replace the pin and clip. There we go. Now we're going to remove, remove this pin and clip again. But this time, we're just going to go straight up with it. Just replace the pin and clip when you're done. And as you can see, we have cut down on a lot of that space. So if we measure again, from the bumper to the outermost part of our bike rack, it's gonna be about 13 inches. So do keep this in mind for any close quarters situations you might have, such as maybe parking or even storage. If we come in close and see how our bike rack is attached to our hitch, we're gonna have an inch and a qu quarter receiver on our Passat but if you choose, you will receive an adapter to attach to the end of your shank to make it compatible with two inch hitches. Right here, we have this bolt that goes through, this anti-rattle bolt, sorry, that goes through the hitch receiver, through the shank and out the other side. Once we tighten that down, that's gonna prevent our bike rack from moving independently from our vehicle if we're, say, driving down a bumpy road. If you so choose, you can purchase a, sep a separate anti-rattle bolt with a lock on the other end if you want a more secure feature to your bike rack. And there you have it for the Malone Runway 2 Bike Platform Rack for inch and a quarter and two inch hitches on our 2014 Volkswagen Passat. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole, or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 